As part of your duties when working for Icon Materials, you may be required to hook up a utility trailer to one of our trucks. Although this may seem like a simple task, there are a lot of different things to consider and make sure they are correct before pulling the trailer down the road. A trailer that is not properly connected can detach from the vehicle pulling it and create a hazard to people and property. This short training video will show you how to properly hook up a trailer so you can safely tow it. Initially you will need to back your vehicle up to the trailer. Do not back too far as you might hit the trailer. Once you get close to the trailer, stop the vehicle, turn it off, set the parking brake and get out and check around the trailer. If you are on a job site, make sure to put on your hard hat and vest. Before you begin the process of hooking up the trailer, it is very important to make sure you have the correct size ball for the trailer. Check the size of the ball, which should be stamped on the ball. Make sure the trailer hitch matches that size. The size of the trailer hitch should also be stamped on it. If the sizes do not match, stop. You cannot tow the trailer. Check with a supervisor or mechanic to get the correct size ball. Once you make sure the ball and hitch size match, check to see what the distance is between where the vehicle is parked and the trailer hitch. Also check your alignment with the trailer. Jack the trailer up so the hitch is over the height of the ball or pintle hitch. If the jack does not work or is difficult to use, let a supervisor know so they can get it fixed. Do not try to physically lift the trailer up. Once the trailer is at proper height, get back in the vehicle and slowly back at the remaining amount. If you are using a spotter, make sure they are not between the vehicle and the trailer. Stop and shut off the vehicle, set the parking brake, and head back to the trailer. Before you lower the hitch onto the back, make sure the latch has been opened by flipping the latch into the up position. Once the latch is opened, lower the trailer onto the ball using the jack. When the jack comes off the ground, the trailer should be seated onto the ball. Close the latch. If the latch will not close, raise it back up with the jack and check the latch. Once the latch is closed, pin the latch. If there is not a pin, contact your supervisor or a mechanic. Do not pull the trailer without the latch being pinned. Beside the ball type pulling device, there is also a pintle type trailer hook. This works very similar to the ball, except the latch for the device is on the vehicle. Put the ring for the trailer onto the vehicle's ball or hook. Close the latch on the ball or hook and latch it into place. Pin the latch into place. To check and make sure the trailer is fully seated onto the hitch, use the jack to raise the trailer back up. The trailer should not come off the ball or pintle. If it does, check to make sure the latch was completely open and double check the size of the ball. Redo the steps and test again. If it fails again, do not pull the trailer and contact the supervisor to get it fixed. Once the hitch is securely seated on the ball, it is time to hook the safety chains. Check on the ball hitch or under the bumper for the proper location to hook the chains. When you find the spot to hook them, hook the chains across so they form an X. If the chain's too long, twist the chain a little bit to remove the slack. If they are too short, tell your supervisor so they can get some extensions for the chain. Once you hook the chains, make sure the latches on the hooks are completely closed. If the hook does not fit again, tell your supervisor. Do not tow a trailer without the chains hooked up. Hook up the electrical lines, making sure the plug is completely pushed in. If the trailer has brakes, the next stop is to hook up the breakaway cable. This will initiate the brakes on the trailer if it pulls away from the vehicle. Hook the cable around the bumper, ball, or pintle hook. When you do this, try to get it in the middle of the truck with enough slack so turning does not enact the brakes. Go to the truck and turn on the lights and proceed to make a walk around the trailer. Check the lights on the trailer to make sure they are working. Check the tires. If you find problems with any of these, call your supervisor. Look at the load you are carrying and test that it is securely tied down or the pins are holding it into place. This is especially important on signboards and light plants. Put away the wheel chocks. In most cases, they are to be stored in the battery box or someplace where they cannot come off the trailer. Get into the vehicle and adjust your mirrors so you can see the trailer. Once you are ready, get into your truck and start it. If the trailer has brakes, slowly begin to move and use the trailer brake control to test the brakes. If they do not stop you, contact your supervisor. If they do, you're ready to proceed. Remember as you head out onto the road with the trailer, it takes longer to stop. Give yourself the added room. Drive slowly across rough surfaces. 
Take smooth corners. Always remember you have a trailer on the back. Use these procedures to make pulling a trailer a safer task for you and the people driving around you.